Week 16, cycle three, Science Van Cleve. We are doing Bubbler, Experiment 93. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a doozy just because there's a lot of moving parts here and there's actually a lot um, as far as your material list goes. Some of the stuff I think is a little bit, uh, they make it a little harder than it needs to be, but I haven't actually done this one. We're gonna do this live, so hopefully it'll work out great. What will you need? You will need a pair of scissors. You will need a ruler. I actually had measuring tape. You will need a couple of straws. You really only need one, but I would have a couple on hand. You need uh, dish soap. We used, we didn't have any Dawn, so we used Ajax. We will need a little saucer, which is just like essentially, you could use a, uh, a styrofoam plate, but just a little plate. Water, you will need half a cup of water, half of a cup of white vinegar. You will also need modeling clay. Now that's not Play-Doh, it's like the thicker modeling clay. You will need one teaspoon of baking soda. Again, this list is long. You will need some bathroom tissue. And you will need a soda bottle. Now, I added, you will also need a funnel. Because, I mean, the soda bottle is the lid. Anyways, so those are the things that you will need. What is the purpose of this experiment? The purpose is to demonstrate the effect of gas pressure in a closed container. What are we gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. We are going to, well first you're gonna start with your two liter plastic bottle. Now this is interesting because usually plastic bottles have soda inside of them and when you empty them out, there's like little residue of sugar. So you can't have that in case it's, for some reason that element affects your other elements and the experiment doesn't go the way it's supposed to. So what do you do? You rinse it out, but then you're left with water in it. So if you're smart, you will let it dry out and within the next couple days. I had to get a blow dryer and blow it out inside. So that's what I did. Okay, so you need this bottle and you have a straw. Normal straws are, I don't know what, like eight inches. So you wanna cut that straw down to four inches and it looks like this when it's cut down to four inches. Now, when you cut the straw, be careful when you cut it because you don't want any cracks getting in the straw. You know how sometimes you bite a straw, it'll have a crack, and then the air doesn't flow the way it's supposed to. So um, my suggestion, though, is to use the uncut side to go, in the, to go up versus in the bottle. The cut side I would put in the bottle. Now, the modeling clay. You're going to take your straw, and you're going to get the modeling clay, and you're going you're gonna, to you know, round it out and then put it around your straw. Before you do the experiment, now it doesn't say this in the experiment, but I would suggest it highly. Instead of trying to figure out how big your opening is, um, put the clay on top, fasten it down. Okay, so the idea is that air is not supposed to, or gas is not, uh, gas is not supposed to escape from uh, where the clay is. It's only supposed to go through the straw. So now that you've pushed it down, it kind of just pops right off. It's perfect. You already have this ring. You don't have to mess with trying to figure it out during the actual experiment. So this is what that looks like. Four inches, clay around it, nice little ring so it goes right, almost like a top, a bottle top. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. Now you need your saucer. It says that you will need a dropper for this. You don't really need a dropper for this. You just need to pour some soap. It says two drops of soap per two drops of water. However, if you're using something like Ajax, which is not as soapy as Dawn, I put a bunch more soap in. And then I put water in. What I did was, I took my excess of the straw to test, because the idea is that the gas is gonna fill up and then it's gonna blow a bubble at the top. We wanna make sure that happens. So I went ahead and took my extra piece of the straw, dipped it into the soapy water, and then I just lightly blew in it, and it worked. Okay, so those, those are not huge bubbles, so I'm actually gonna add more soap, because I want my bubble to get as big as it needs to. I'm just using my finger in here. A little bit of water, a lot of soap. Let's see if that makes the bubble bigger. There we go, that was a good one. All right, so now we have our soapy water and we also need our tissue paper. I pulled off a strip of here and you're going to use one teaspoon of baking soda. Can you see this, Sila? Can you see if it's showing? I went ahead and took my strip. I put my baking soda onto the strip. I don't know if you can see it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it together. 
like such. And then you're supposed to twist the ends. Let's hope this works. So I might have too much tissue paper here. Twist the ends. All right, perfect. So it kind of looks like a, well, tissue paper with baking soda inside. <laughs> okay, so now we have our soda. You can put it back up there if you want, sweetie. I've got my funnel. I'm gonna put my funnel in. This is how it's gonna go down. So we have half a cup of water. This is a full cup that I measured for half a cup. I put it in my soda bottle. I've got the half a cup of yummy smelling white vinegar. Oh, I really don't wanna spill that anywhere else. All right, so that is now in the bottle. You can remove the funnel. Then it says, after you have put that in there, that we're supposed to put our tissue with the baking soda inside of the bottle. And what's gonna happen is the baking soda is gonna react to the vinegar and water um, once the tissue paper kind of tears away, and it's gonna create a gas. What kind of gas do you say? It's gonna form carbon dioxide gas. And that gas is gonna fill the bottle, it's gonna go up the straw, and then what we're gonna do is, you know, before we put our straw on, we're gonna dip it in the soapy water and put our straw on, the gas is gonna go up the bottle, and the hope is that it's gonna form a bubble on top. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna just dip the end of my straw in the soapy water. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have it ready. Hopefully it will work. All right, here it goes. So now I'm gonna put, this is tricky. I'm gonna put the baking soda tissue in the water. Here we go. Soapy, put it on. Oh, it works! Let's see how big it gets. Oh yes, oh that was good, let me do it again. Oh, I can take it off. Hold on. Take it off. I'm gonna do it again so we can see it again. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it on the video, see it? So that carbon, um, that carbon dioxide is filling the bottle up with gas. It's going through, the bubble keeps bursting. And eventually it's gonna run out. The gas is, is gonna be stopped for me. But yeah, the kids, is, the kids are gonna really like this one. Super easy once you get all the material lists and it's done. Hold on, I think it's running out now. <laughs> I think you can also dip your finger in the soapy solution instead of taking it off every time, just kind of do that. This is really fun. All right, so that is the experiment. It's called the bubbler for a good reason. And the wet tissue tears away, the baking soda and vinegar mix forming carbon dioxide gas. The gas fills the bottle, it goes up the straw, the pressure of the gas goes up the straw and it pushes that gas into the soapy film, which creates a bubble. Awesome.